Okay, can you move? Ready, set, research. Imagine waking up one morning and craving that peanut butter sandwich, or just going through a bad breakup and just wanting that really nice Snickers bar, or just wanting a chocolate chip cookie before this competition, knowing that if you do so, if you take one small bite, or just being around it, you're going to end up at the hospital with an IV up your arm. That breakup doesn't sound so bad right now, right? We know that in, in the world, food allergens and food allergies are very common and very severe. But more especially, peanut allergens that affect one in every 13 kids and are responsible for about 120 deaths in the US per year. The thing is that peanut allergens contain, con peanut contain 11 different allergens, two of which are the most major and the most lethal. My research is involved in investi investigating the detection of these two major allergens. The reason for this is that we don't have any commercialized detectors that can actually sense these proteins in food. So I am using what we call metamaterials to be able to sense these proteins. Metamaterials are an engineered composite that have special electromagnetic properties that can have, that can act in the, and that can sense light in the terahertz frequency. These biomolecules vibrate in the terahertz frequency, which is why we can see them. The terahertz frequency is the part of the electromagnetic spectrum that lies between the infrared and the microwave. Now, the, com the components of these met metamaterials have a particular feature that they have to be a lot smaller than the wavelength that we're using, which is why the metamaterial size and the sensor that I'm creating has to be the size of a quarter. So imagine having a quarter size detector in your pocket that you can carry it around and measure whether or not anything is contaminated with peanut allergens and be able to save your kids from having an attack, let's say, at McDonald's or at the park or even at a party or at school. But today, this is our research, just in peanuts. Tomorrow, we're gonna be able to expand it into other type of allergens, seashells, eggshells, fruit, or any other allergens that can affect our families and our societies. Thank you very much.